Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars custom diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Dale the Intimidator Earnhardt Sr. The Good Wrench Piston Cup Racer number 3. Now before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Dale the Intimidator Earnhardt Sr. was a 1978 Chevrolet Monte Carlo stock piston cup racer that bore the number 3 for Good Wrench was the father of Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, number eight, and was based off of the real Dale Earnhardt, who is an actual NASCAR driver, of which he drove the number three car in the, for Richard Childress Racing. And in 1978, he made he I mean he made he made his Piston Cup career in 1978 at the start of the 1978 Piston Cup season at Florida International Speedway for the at the Florida 500, but failed to win. The fall then by the following year in 1979, I mean, he won his first win, and. Achieve, and also achieved the Piston Cup Rookie of the Year awards of 1979. Then, by the following year, 1980, he clinched his first Piston Cup championship. Then would go on to win six more in 1986, 1987, 1990, 1991, 1993, and 1984, and was tied with the same number of Piston Cups as Strip the King Weathers and Lightning McQueen. And due to his aggressive driving and his inadvertible tapping, he was he was known by he went by the nickname of the Intimidator. And in in nineteen ninety eight, after twenty years of trying and frustration, he was finally able to win the Florida five hundred at Florida Speedway and founded and founded Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. Then in 2000, his son Dale Earnhardt Jr. made his Piston Cup debut as a rookie. Then on, and on the same year, he achieved his 76th victory, which was his final victory. Then in 2001, tragic happened. At the Florida 500 at Florida Speedway of the 2001 Piston Cup season, he he collided with between another racer and a wall and died. Then, into in and speaking of the real Dale Earnhardt. There was, there was a movie about the real Dale Earnhardt's or its career, career, and death, which was achieved, and recorded, and narrated by the voice of Doc Hudson, the late Paul Newman. And there was another Dale Earnhardt movie in 2004, which starred the voice of Mayor Leinhardt from Zootopia, J.K. Simmons, who played Dale, the real Dale Earnhardt's father, Ralph Earnhardt. And, and as far as I'm concerned, I imagine that Chick Hicks shared, I mean, Chick Hicks was probably the inspiration for Dale Earnhardt due to his swiping and his black mustache. Although I would consider Dale Earnhardt's tapping inadvertible, though. So now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here I've got his, his black grill, which represents his mustache, his headlights, with a white number three on one of them, and on, and on his black paint job, and on the hood we've got the Goodwrench logo, 
and on both sides we've got the black rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the white number three and the GM logo which are the initials of General Motors no contingency sponsors over there I know pl I know I'm sorry I'm not that perfect so please don't get mad at me and on the top we've got another number three no name signature like I said I'm not perfect and on the trunk we've got the good wrench logo and the number three on the tail light sticker tail lights and the GM logo and in between and and that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other Chevy vehicles. We've got Mater, who is a 1957 Chevy tow truck, uh, from what I imagine. Ramon, who is a 1959 Impala lowrider hot rod. Jeff Corvette, who is a Corvette C6R. And Popo, who is a 1950, 40, 1947 Chevrolet Coupe. Oop. Oh, and let's not forget Daryl Car Cartrip, who is also a Monte Carlo, but from 1977. And his son, Dale Earnhardt Jr., who is another, yet another Monte Carlo, but from 2000. And some of the other race cars that share, that have a 70s to 80s body mold, we've got Chick Hicks. Murray Clutchburn, Floyd Mulvihill, Krusty Rodor, James Cleaner, Ernie Gearson, Misty Motocrass, Greg Candyman, and lastly, Claude Scruggs. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Chevy vehicle is your favorite? And which car with a late 70s to 80s body style is your favorite? And which Earnhardt family member is your favorite? Is it Dale the Intimidator Earnhardt Sr. or his son Dale Earnhardt Jr.? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!